Hawaii is bracing for impact. Look at those islands about to be overwhelmed by Flossie. Maui, Oahu, Honolulu, all in the crosshairs tonight. The first direct hit in 20 years. An emergency has been declared. Officials warning the night could bring mudslides, floods, even tornadoes. After much of the rest of the country was already soaked by a weekend of rain and flash floods. Our extreme weather team is tracking it all, and ABC's Neil Karlinski starts us off from Hawaii. Tonight, America's island paradise is under a rare assault from Mother Nature. Tropical storm Flossie bearing down on the big island first before moving west across the Hawaiian islands could bring up to a foot of rain. The pounding surf has already arrived uh, on the big island and it's uh, headed towards Maui. While some residents are stocking up on supplies, Saul Rollison is worried about flash flooding. His home sits on a razor's edge above the ocean, which is why he's trying to keep his property from getting soaked and sliding away. Is this going to be uh, the kind of night where you sleep with one eye open? Uh, I'm going to probably not sleep at all. Most Pacific storms fade long before striking the islands, but in 1992, Hurricane Iniki left nearly $2 billion in damage and seven deaths in its wake. Flossie won't be nearly that bad, but preparations are underway. Susie Stensrud, who survived Katrina and just moved here for better weather, says she's ready. Hopefully this will just be a lot of wind and a lot of rain and no flooding. July is the busiest month of the year in Hawaii, but today dozens of flights are canceled, tours postponed, and visitors have been left to make the best of it. Yeah, it's disappointing, but I think we'll work through it. The surf has been kicking up. The wind and rain has been coming and going intermittently all afternoon. The worst of it, though, still hasn't materialized, but they are not taking any chances. Emergency shelters have been opened and the National Guard has been activated just in case. George? Hey, Neil, thanks very much. We're going to turn to the mainland now. For families from coast to coast, it was a weekend of extreme weather, supersized storms, flash floods, buses and cars no match for the rushing water. ABC meteorologist Ginger Z has that part of the story. Flash flood, thousands of Americans learning and living the definition this weekend. And literally in 10 minutes, the water rose from the creek side up to the house. In Arizona, water rushing down mountains and into roads. A tour bus bowled over by muddy waters, pushed 300 yards downstream. All 33 on board, remarkably okay. A soaker surrounding Las Vegas, water two feet deep. And then there were those swift water rescues in western North Carolina. Up to a foot of rain fell in less than 24 hours. Philadelphia swamped Sunday. It's wettest one day rainfall ever, more than eight inches. All of this after what has been a really wet summer along the East Coast. 18 states from Georgia to Maine made it into their top 10 wettest Junes. Delaware and New Jersey, both their wettest Junes on record. And now a place like Miami Beach, who has had their wettest July on record, could see more rain by the end of the week. And it's going to come from this. Look at this, the remnants of Dorian. It's still uh, disorganized, fighting a lot of dry air, but it could make it toward Florida by late week. The National Hurricane Center giving it a 30% shot, George, of regenerating. Meanwhile, they've already skipped ahead to F over on the Pacific yeah. Coast. Flossie is so massive. It is, and especially for Hawaii. We want to take you through the track of Flossie because even though it is going to keep weakening, this is still going to be a big deal for them. So let's look at the timing together here and give you an idea of what's happening. The overnight here it goes right over and between Molokai and Oahu by about 2 a.m. and then off and really out of everybody's hair by Wednesday. So we can say long gone by then. In the meantime, though, warnings abound for every island. Three to six inches of rain, 30 to 40 mile per hour wind. That heavy surf, Neil, show.